In the late 1950s, the United States might have been a simpler time. Kids didn't have electronics or computer games, cell phones or tablets. What they did have was much more imagination. This is All Request History. If you're curious about the history of, well, anything, you're in the right place. Subscribe here, leave your request in the comments, and you could be the next video on All Request History. Thanks this time to Florence Flojo from Deerfield, New Jersey, for requesting the history of Barbie. Kids' toys have certainly evolved for decades, from Hot Wheels to action figures, mega blocks to building sets, and board games to infant toys. Mattel Toy Company has been a leader in all of these options. It all began with high school sweethearts Elliot and Ruth Handler. They ran a furniture shop in Los Angeles, California. While both running the shop full-time, they also raised two kids. While watching her daughter and friends playing with paper dolls, portraying what they would do for work as grown-ups, Ruth was inspired to enhance their experience and wanted to make sure paper dolls were more lifelike. The handler's company used plastic, lucite, and plexiglass to make furniture, so Ruth Elliott and a business partner, Harold Matt Watson, sat down and tried to conceptualize Ruth's vision of a 3D toy for her daughter. They created more than just a toy. They created plastic 3D dolls, both a boy and a girl. They named the dolls after their two kids, Barbara and Kenneth. And although Ken didn't make his debut until a couple of years after Barbie, the handlers found instant success. They stopped making furniture and formed a toy company named after Matt Watson and Elliot Handler, Mattel. Barbie was introduced to the world at the New York Toy Fair in 1959. Since then, there have been over 250 types of Barbies in 40 different nationalities and an estimated 1 billion outfits in her wardrobe. Her style reflects almost any look, style, and achievement you can think of. Staying true to Ruth's vision, you can be anything you want to be. Now here's a question for you. Does Barbie have any siblings? And if so, how many? Well, the answer is coming up. Through the years, Barbie has had tons of careers. Here are just a few. Veterinarian, chef, paratrooper, teacher, filmmaker. In fact, you name it, Barbie has done it. Barbie, being such a successful businesswoman, has also teamed up with many national brands like Coca-Cola Splash Barbie, Tommy Hilfiger Fashion Barbie, and the 25th anniversary Walt Disney World Barbie. The original Barbie was actually one of the highest selling. Over 300,000 were sold in the first year. Other big sellers have been Superstar Barbie from 1977, Black Barbie from 1980, and the best-selling style of all time is Totally Hair Barbie, released in 1992. A few other fun facts about Barbie. Her birthday is the day she was introduced to the world, March 9, 1959. Her full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Seems as though Barbie might actually be a cheesehead at heart. Her hometown is the fictional town of Willows, Wisconsin. Ken's full name is Kenneth Sean Carson. And does she have any siblings? Well, yes, seven. Skipper was born in 1964. The twins, Todd and Tootie, in 1965. Stacy, born in 1990. Kelly in 1994, Chrissy in 1998, and Chelsea in 2011. She also has a cousin named Francine Fairchild who lives in England. Now it may appear obvious, but in truth, Barbie and Ken were never married. Not officially, that is. According to Mattel, creator Ruth Handler stated that Barbie would never be married or have any children. However, they released a wedding set, a gown for Barbie and a tux for Ken, in 2009 so children could play a wedding and a marriage if they wanted their dolls to be married. Barbie and Ken officially broke up in 2004 on Valentine's Day. The story went that Barbie had to take time for herself, presumably in her California beach house, and she spent some time with Australian boogie boarder Blaine Gordon. This was also the year that she ran for president, so she was kind of too busy for Ken anyway. By the way, she also ran for president in 1992, but obviously lost to Bill Clinton. 
She did take him back in 2011 after Ken took out a series of billboard ads professing his love. In 2019, Mattel broke the mold of having controversial and unrealistic shape and released different body-sized Barbies. Barbie was in an Oscar-nominated film in 2024, but that wasn't her first film appearance. She and Ken also appeared in Toy Story 2 and 3. They also appeared in over 40 direct-to-video films produced by Mattel since 2001. Some of these films have used Barbie's own line of chocolate to promote the film's release, but Barbie chocolate has been available almost as long as she has. Speaking of chocolate, come back next week when I'll request history will explore the sweet history of chocolate. Now over the years, Barbie has had many friends, Nicole, Grace, Summer Gordon, Teresa Rivera, but her two longest BFFs would have to be Christy, whom she met in 1968, and Margaret Sherwood, whom she called Midge, and those two have been friends since 1963. Also, what kind of it girl would Barbie be without having a few celebrity friends? She can name drop friends like Twiggy, Cher, Elizabeth Taylor, Elvis, and Priscilla Presley, and even Nicki Minaj. By the way, if you'd like to be friends with Barbie, you can reach out to her. Her Insta is at Barbie Style. Worldwide, there's one Barbie sold every three seconds. Being as famous as Barbie, of course, has brought about some controversy. In 2015, Mattel released Hello Barbie. I love New York, don't you? An interactive talking doll that could repeat your words and even carry on a conversation with you. Sounds cool, but conspiracy theorists claim that conversations were being recorded and could possibly be sent to third-party vendors. Barbie herself may not be in the Guinness World Book of Records, but... Bettina Dorfman is. She is the holder of the largest collection of Barbies in the world at 15,000. Barbie, always being on the cutting edge of society, raised a good amount of money for cancer research. In 2010, the most expensive Barbie was auctioned off and sold to the highest bidder at $302,500, all for cancer research. So as we enter into her sixth decade, one thing remains clear. Barbie's legacy of inspiration, imagination, and empowerment will continue to shine bright for generations to come. You guys 